Hey everybody, Icy Cat here. With Season 3 coming out, a lot of new skins and bundles were made available. If you're on the fence about what to do, then you'll want to stick around as we take a closer look at all the new content. First off, let me open up by saying that I know that this is kind of coming late. Uh, season 3 actually came out like two and a half weeks ago. Last week, all of my focus was on making the two new operator profiles and the hour-long map walkthrough, and that took all of last week for me to put that content together. The week before, I was just so busy at work. I actually am not a full-time YouTuber. I make my videos on my lunch break at work. I record the video the night before. I'll do the voiceover on my lunch break and do the editing on my laptop. And uh, then at the end of the workday, I'll hit render and export it off to YouTube. And the first week that the content came out, I was just so busy with everything at work that I didn't have a chance to do it. And then when I got home, it was all about spending time with the family and the kids and stuff. So yes, this video is a little bit late in the grand scheme of things, but I felt that last week I really needed to have the priority on the two new operators and the walkthrough for the new map. Before we get into the bundles themselves, a quick note on price points. They have now upgraded the season pass to give you a 10% VIP discount in the store. So if you notice a discrepancy in the prices that I'm listing versus the prices you see, it might just simply be that I have the season pass for the 10% discount. Also, depending on when you watch the video, the prices may change. Things in the shop do go on sale, especially as time goes by, the prices drop down a little bit. The first one is the Bope Bundle. This gives you the Cifador skin. It is only available for the two Bope operators. You can apply them on all of the primaries and secondaries for both operators in this CTU. It's available for 756 rainbow credits. You can only get it for credits. It is not available for renown. This skin is an interesting combination where the front half of the weapon is almost in like a clay or a terracotta material or something like that with like carvings of skulls. And then the back half of the weapon is uh, it's almost like blinged out like uh, some kind of a metal texture or maybe uh, I don't know if it's trying to be like a gemstone or maybe like, you know, shiny bits of metal or something like that. But so you have this like dual texture where the front half is matte and dull and the back half is shiny and reflective and metallic. The Cifador skin is very detailed. You see a lot of work put into the design of where the skull placement is. There's a lot of intricate work here on it. Checking out these guns as we play some Terrorist Hunt, you can see how they have different interactions with the light. The back half of the weapon will have more reflectivity than the front half of it. The Cifador skin tries to capture the essence of the Bope operators. Members of this CTU refer to themselves as Skulls. One translation for Cifador is actually that of the Grim Reaper, so you can see the fit here is pretty good. Once again, the Bope bundle featuring the Cifador skin pack is only available for Caveda and Capito. This only applies to their weapons and nothing else. We also have a couple of exclusive headgears that are available for these two operators. For Capito, we have the Cadaver headgear. This actually takes away the eye patch and lets you see the damaged tissue underneath. This is the reason why he's wearing an eye patch. And it gives him a little bit of a face visor thing that covers like his jaw and mouth. The insinuation here is that, you know, he looks like, like a walking dead body or a zombie or something like that. When I logged in, I got this headgear as well as the one for Caveira as part of being a season pass holder. So they were automatically available for me. I don't know if those that do not have season pass will have an option to buy it or not. Since I had it, it just showed up for me. The headgear for Caveira is also called Cifador. Again, that references the Grim Reaper, and you can see here they're sort of going for that effect. She has some kind of like a visor on the lower half of her face there, and then with the black hoodie. If you combine that with the fact that she's already wearing skull face painting, you kind of complete the image of the Grim Reaper and hence the Cifador reference. Additionally, Season 3 brings along the Skull Rain bundle of headgears available for all operators. Now, an interesting note here, this showed up in the store as the Season 2 headgear bundle. It even references Dustline in the description. And yet, when you click on it and open it up, it lists all the Skull Rain bundles. So, it's a little misleading in what it's representing here, and I hope that that's something that gets fixed if it hasn't been already. When I bought it, it was still referencing Season 2 and Dustline but it is in fact the Skull Rain Bundle. This is available for 1,557 rainbow credits. It does not have a renown option at this time, but what this does is it unlocks the Skull Rain headgear for every single operator. For most operators, this takes the form of kind of a green camouflage, almost like a traditional desert camo scheme in some ways. In other ways, it's more of like a jungle camo. And on still other operators, it has almost like these tones, especially on the GSG-9 operator, it's kind of like uh, colors of, of tan and beige with a little bit of slight green mixed in, but not a whole lot. On many of the operators, it looks really cool. However, on others, it really stands out. Moving along to our next bundle pack is the Piranha Bundle. 
This is available for 765 rainbow credits or 28,800 renown. The Piranha Bundle is a universal skin. It applies for all the operators in the game, all of their primaries, all of their secondaries. It also includes the Piranha Charm. It's just like a small wooden chip thing with this green piranha face on it. The weapon skin itself has this kind of like a deep blue, almost like a blackish blue kind of a color to it with these grooves and etchings on them. They're almost kind of reminiscent to me of like an underwater topology scan where you have like the, the lines indicating different depths and elevations under the water. I don't know if that's what it really is or not. That's just sort of what it reminds me of. And then you have these orange piranha fish that are on here as well. This particular weapon skin is more of a matte texture. It has a little bit of sheen to it, but overall it's not very reflective. It doesn't feel like highly metallic or anything like that. If anything, it almost comes off as maybe a slightly polished wood finish. Now, while the weapon skin itself is kind of slick, the charm leaves something to be desired. It's a little hard to complain. I mean, they're throwing it in for free. It's not like you had to pay anything additional for this charm but I think we could have maybe seen a little bit of stronger design or effort put into it too. Still, overall, pretty cool to see that they threw in a free charm with a bundle pack that with a single purchase is available for every operator in the game. The next weapon skin bundle will be the Amazonia pack. This is not available for rainbow credits. It is a renown only purchase for 28,800 renown. Like Piranha, Amazonia also includes a free charm. The charm is sort of a golden eagle phoenix kind of a thing, something like that. It's highly reflective, and as it bounces around, you'll definitely notice it. The skin itself has a definite jungle feel to it. You'll have on the side of the gun images in white of frogs or birds. Like Piranha, I would say that this seems to be more of a highly polished wood finish. It's got a sheen to it, but it's not highly reflective overall. It doesn't appear metallic in any way. Just more of like a painted wood with a varnish or something on it. It does have a depth to it. There is some displacement mapping or normal mapping, which just indicates that there is a raised height difference in the surface of the texture. Once again, this is a single purchase that then makes the weapon skin available for all of the currently existing operators in the game. The next bundle pack is Azulejos. This is available for 756 rainbow credits only. You cannot get it with Renown. This too is available for every currently existing operator in the game and includes a free weapon charm. This skin texture pack differentiates itself from other ones in a few different ways. The first one is the art style that's used. It almost looks like the gun has all kinds of like little mosaic tiles that are glued onto it and kind of put together this artistic representation of the weapon over its entire surface. This also has that very noticeable bump mapping to it. Bump mapping, normal mapping, displacement mapping, they're all, to the layman anyway, semi-interchangeable terms that basically mean there's a difference in height in the texture map. So in the gaps between the mosaic tiles, it appears to be like a lower depth to it. It gives it a very bumpy surface overall in between the smooth tile pieces. The patterns here are very artistic, and one thing that's really interesting is that it's split up by color based on weapon category. So for assault rifles, you're going to see red. This even applies to Jaeger, who has the assault rifle carbine, even though he's a defender. All submachine guns in the game are a yellow color. This is more of a rich yellow gold kind of a color, and this will only be seen on submachine guns. All pistols in the game are a green color, very vibrant, very bright. Every pistol has the same coloring on it. All shotguns in the game have sort of this... Um, I guess kind of a multicolor texture to it where it has, it's sort of like this off white color mixed with like blues and browns and greens and just like, you know, sort of a multicolored pattern. That's for all the shotguns. And then you have blue, and this is sort of for the everything else category. This is where the light machine guns will fall into. Glaza's sniper rifle will also be present in this category as well as a couple of other things. So they took an artistic style and they split it up by category of weapon type. And that was just sort of a neat thing to see. And as mentioned before, you do get that free silver bird charm that's hanging on the side of the weapon that's included with the base purchase price as well. Then we have the Skull Rain Bundle. This includes the Skull Skin, as well as the matching charm of a skull to go with it. The Skull Rain Bundle is available for 882 rainbow credits or 31,500 renown. These are very detailed and intricate. The placement of the skulls on all of the weapons are really lined up with the flow of the weapons. So you'll see things where like the eye sockets in the skull head maybe match up with the fire select switch or the safety or something like that. They'll put skulls inside of skulls or you'll see other pieces of bone. There's like uh, spinal cords and things like that that you'll sometimes see in the flow of the weapon to sort of make it up. Very detailed and intricate line work. 
I mean, it's something reminiscent of like Santa Muerte or, you know, the, some of the big drug cartels in South America and Mexico that have a lot of the skull influence in them. And of course, this is the title theme that goes with Skull Rain. Just a solid black and white texture pattern that goes over everything. It does have some bump mapping to it. You can see that displacement in the texture. It's not a particularly reflective material. It doesn't have any like metallic qualities to it, but it does have just sort of a general gloss or shine. The skull charm, frankly, when used with the skin, blends right into it. It's a little hard to pick out sometimes. The skull charm might actually look better with some other skin so that it pops out and stands out a little bit more. But I can see for those that do like charms, having a skull head as something that you can hang off the side of the gun, again, if charms are your thing, that that might be something interesting. It is sort of a flat 2D shape. I'm a little surprised that it's not actually like a three-dimensional skull head because so much of the charms are actually three-dimensional shapes and this one really isn't. But overall, really liking the theme here of seeing them include a bonus charm along with the skin pack being made for all of the currently available operators at once. Those make up the bulk of the new content bundles that are available. There's a lot of other individual skins that are available, especially for the two new operators, but we also see some expanded content. In fact, here's one of my favorite ones, the caulk skin gun for the M12. I love that one. Also, the Val skin is available for a number of submachine guns. I really think that's a cool one. And overall, if you dig through them, you're going to find a lot of interesting little additions. They're available for very low renown or credit cost. You can preview them on your gun very easily and see what they look like before you pick them up. So I usually don't review these kinds of skins individually. However, there's a new category here that I want to make an exception for. They came out with these new matte colors for universal skins. These are solid colors. They're mostly matte. They do have a little bit of general overall sheen to them, but they're not like super reflective or super glossy. And they're just solid colors that you apply to your guns. And this is genius because so many of the guns in the game have these loud, obnoxious kind of color schemes to them. And some people love that. I don't want to take it away from the people that do. I'm somebody that prefers more realistic color schemes, so I'm more likely to put like the World War II camouflage patterns on my guns or things like that. So when I saw this, I loved this. Some of these colors I'm definitely going to be using all the time. My personal favorites are brown and olive. I mean, I can put those on just about any gun in the game and I think it looks fantastic. But if you want like a red gun or an orange gun or a yellow gun, I mean, you can do that. If you wanted to do something like color code your CTUs, have the Spetsnaz have all red weapons, have the FBI have all orange weapons, or you know, I mean, like you could do that kind of a thing. And once again, we've got the fantastic decision here of making it so that one purchase unlocks it for every gun in the game. All of the skins are available for 216 rainbow credits, or you can unlock them for 9,000 renown. But brown, for some reason, clocks in at 11,250 renown. I don't know why that one color is a little bit more. Regardless, I picked them all up. I think it's a fantastic idea. The only thing that I think is missing from this lineup is a good black. They need a black, solid, universal color like this. The reason being is that there are some guns in the game that aren't naturally black even without a weapon skin. There's a lot of guns that that applies to. For instance, Buck C8 is not something that you would see in the black color if you took all the weapon skins off of it. It actually has a patterned color on it already. The Desert Eagle is only available in silver or this kind of like chrome finish if you take the weapon skins off of it. There's no black skin for the Desert Eagle. IQ's Stare Aug is another example of a weapon that's already kind of a base color. It has sort of that green patterning to it. It's not available in black by default. If we had the addition of black to this universal color lineup, then we would be able to fill out some of these other options that aren't currently existing in the game. And that concludes the review of the content that was put out with the addition of Season 3 the other week. Now, we know that based on the way the other seasons have gone, they'll be introducing new content going forward. We'll probably be seeing a new skin pack sometime in the next week or two. And as those come out, I'll cover them as well. Now, if you want to stay up to date on the latest review as it comes out, as well as other news, tips, tricks, information, and more, please like and subscribe. You can also follow me at IcyCat25 on either Facebook or Twitter. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.